Hey Pokey friends, welcome back to another Art Gold Nuzlocke with Lone Wolf and Art Edition rules. And we are now going to battle the fourth gym leader. So let's go and battle Morty. As you can tell, we are now in the nighttime, like zone area, or just dark times. And while I was gone, what I did was I did level up my Pokemon a bit, but only enough to where they're at the cusp of evolving. I also did a little live preview with some of my Instagram followers to get a soothing bell for Togepi. So hopefully Togepi will evolve faster. And now let's begin the challenge with the gym. And here's our first gym challenge. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Referring to the ghost types, I get it, I get it. But a good thing you don't know is Toga Cutie. There was a psychic move. And here's Toga Cutie. And we are going to use extra sensory. And that's fine, Ghastly. We don't care if you are giving us a mean look because. We're gonna beat you. Like, no. Who gonna call Toka Cutie? When you're battling the Ghost Gym Trainers, who gonna call Toga Cutie? And bam. One ghost bites dust. Da 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 da. And we're definitely close to getting to level 20, so I'm, I'm excited. And we are not gonna switch, that was my mistake. And here's the second Ghastly we're going to battle. I can't wait to encounter a Mischievous because I do love that Pokemon. Ever since I got, or like, that ghost type Pokemon came out, I was so into ghost types. Like, Gengar was cool, but I never understood the concept of it being a poison type Pokemon at the second part. So I was like, mmm. But with Mischievous, it was like pure ghost. It was also had that sound effect. It was like that, like the career of Jigglypuff, which is dead. So it was sort of like a little funny irony with that singing ghost. And now we are going to go to the third, Ghastly. Three out of five. On the way to beating the ghosts. Na na na. And I'm very surprised that a lot of these Ghastlies are female type. I think they did that because they want to like emphasize how there's, like, you know, the two gender kind of thing, especially in the Johto region since they introduced the daycare. So I can see what you're doing, Game Freak. I see you. I see you. Toka Cutie leveling up. Oh, okay. This curse thing is not cute. Okay. We're gonna risk it on this one. And... Yeah. I'm pretty confident that Toby Cutie's not gonna lose all of its health, especially because all these Ghastlies are definitely using mean look. They're not really doing big attacks, and Toby Cutie knows psychic moves, so it's like one out of the other, out of the other, out of the other. And hopefully, Curse doesn't come in again. Nope, it does. Okay, we are definitely going to have to give you Potion, hun. Oh, no! Mm. We're going to switch you out to a cutie. Sorry, we're going to replace you with Blaze. I definitely want Togepi to evolve. I do want a Pokemon to evolve by friendship. That's my ultimate goal. I think it'd be pretty cool to have Toga Cutie evolve into its final evolution. And the cool part would be that it would be a fourth generation Pokemon. So would I have a fourth generation Pokemon on the team in a second generation game? Like that would be pretty cool. Awesome, thank you, Blaze. And let's see if Toga Cutie <gasps> Toga Cutie's evolving! I'm excited, I'm excited. Like, oh, man. Oh, this is so amazing. 
Yes! I'm so excited. Oh, it evolves into a Toget Tick. I'm so excited. Oh, that's so beautiful. Toga Cutie is dizzy. One, you're probably cursed, and two, you just evolved. I would be dizzy too if I just evolved and, you know, was in that scenario. But we're definitely giving you a super potion for being. Actually, we're giving a regular potion. But, oh my god, I am excited. Like, if you can't tell by my squeal, I was excited. Like, I think I just crossed up a bucket list. Like, check. Evolved. It goes type Poke. Well, uh, Pokemon by friendship. Check. Time for Toka Cutie to help me out by being Toka Tick. <laughs> so now we're battling this another medium. Now I'm thinking about the TV show, Medium. Ooh, Haunter. That's pretty cool. I'm so excited to have a Toka Tick. Oh, man. I'm like, who it is? Toka Cutie sound Toka Tick, who it is? Oh, man. So, now I'm not worried at all. We got a strong evolved Pokemon. It gets to battle people. I honestly say it was the soothing bell that helped evolve Toga Cutie from Toga P to Toga Tick. And I'm definitely thankful for my Instagram followers to help me out during the random live feed for that. It was, oh. Okay, Haunter. That is really petty. So petty. So Toga Cutie is now level 21. And now we are going to... So let me get it. You hurt yourself and then you get cursed. And now we are going to replace you with... Blaze. Especially because I don't want Toga Cutie to die and... Blaze's flame wheel is pretty boss. So when I was like first playing the original gold and silver games, I definitely thought ghost type was weak to a lot of things like fire and other move sets, especially because it does a strong move like that, but I never realized it was more about my Pokemon being strong, not their typing, so that's pretty good to know. Like years later several generations later. Like, mm mm mm. You might as well call me Slowpoke, man. Crying over Nuzlocke rules. Ugh. When they turn off the light, so then you have to trip. I'm now gonna give up my Toka Cutie another potion. I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay, we are definitely going to take it slow. Oh. Bam. Bam. Man. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'll remember that. We gotta go right around the nut. Yep. I spent the spring with my Pokemon. Then summer. Then autumn. And winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. I feel like that is a nod to fifth generation Pokemon because remember Saba can change its form based on the season, so I see that nod. I see that nod. Suck a punch. Okay, that's good. Good job, took a cutie. Use that extra sensory. I'm so excited that took a cutie evolved. I'm gonna say that a lot. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm just really overwhelmed with the fact that I got a Pokemon Evolved by friendship. Like, I've never had that before. It's astounding. I'm like, oh man. So now, hopefully, I could do that with an Eevee. I think either an Espeon or an Umbreon. So 
and now I'm gonna have to remember to... <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to take off the shoes for this guy. Oh, no, I actually did press the bicycle button. Sorry, Professor Oak. So, here we go. Walking super slow. And then, oh, there we go. Another. Oh, I gotta remember that. Make a big square like a Rubik's Cube. Because I do not want to fall in again. That would be annoying. I think Togekiwi is definitely going to be leveling up even more because we're getting a lot of Gastlies. A lot of Ghost Pokemon. Of course, it's the Ghost Gem. Blonde moment. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah. We're gonna do a lot of sensory. We can all the Ghost Pokemon faint. I'm surprised I haven't seen a Mischievous yet. But they probably want to make it the exclusive Pokemon of Morty, so, you know. That's fine. Toby Cutie's doing pretty great. And we're going to switch it out with Blaze. I'm having Blaze as sort of like my backup Pokemon, just to not let Toby Cutie get all the experience. Definitely want to pass it around, but I do know Blaze is a little bit more equipped. Especially with the fire moves. And then I'm not worried. Mean luck? Who it is? Won't affect us. Ember burn. Yes. Now we're going to hopefully level up to 25. Mm -hmm. So one, one fourth of the way there, Blaze. Gotta do that three more times. Get to level 100. Oh yeah. We're gonna keep you on the field because we're definitely going to be ridding of all of the other Pokemon. I'm definitely interested to see if there's gonna be like a Gengar somewhere. See, that's the reason why I thought Fire Moves were strong against um, Ghost type, but it's probably fire is strong against poison. I don't know if that's true. Leave that in the comments below if fire is stronger than poison. And then now we're going to take this slow. Oh yeah. Made it through. Now I'm going to give one potion to Toby Cutie. Just so Toby Cutie can have it. And we'll be set. Yes. And now let's go battle Morty. It's good of you to have come. Here is the town I can't pronounce. Pokemon have long been reverted. It's said that a rainbow hued Pokemon will come down and appear before a truly powerful trainer. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what's this rainbow Pokemon they speak of. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others can't. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Through Pokemon battles! Woo! Good job, Morty! Good job! Now do a little flare dance, put up your peace signs, and throw out that ghastly. And don't ruin my toga cutie. So now we're gonna use extra sensory. We definitely will be replacing Kurt. I meant, you know. We'll replace Toby Cutie with Blaze later because I do not want Toby Cutie to leave us. Especially, I probably will make Toby Cutie the one that flies. Actually, Patty's gonna be one that flies. Toby Cutie will have the other cool moves. But we'll see. Um, now we're gonna switch it out. We'll put it in Blaze. Go, Blaze! Woo! Oh yeah. 
be got a lot of ghosts to burn through. Pun intended. Pun intended. Oh, could you not make my Pokemon sleep? I know what you're gonna do, Dream Eater, but we are not gonna let that happen. We're gonna replace you with Amelia. Oh, sorry, your move won't work. Yep, I knew it, I knew it. Sorry, your move's not affected because... Get a clue. Okay, if you're trying to use Dream Eater, that is low. Super low. And so what I'm gonna do is replace you with Vinny. Vinny's probably gonna sprinkle something on you, and I'm gonna sprinkle sleeping powder. Oh, okay. I feel like. Someone is very into trying to use Dream Eater, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna replace you with Patty. I am going to wake up Blaze and then we're gonna attack it again. So back. We're gonna go to. Well, actually, scratch that. I don't have a. No. Something to wake you up. Or wake any of the Pokemon up. So we are going to use Gus. Yes. There we go. We're actually also going to use Whirlwind. Yep, that's a good move. Using Whirlwind to bring out another Haunter that's stronger. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best move. Okay, we're definitely going to then bring out Blaze. And if this Haunter knows Dream Meter, then we'll just let it know Dream Meter. It's fine. And then now we're going to use Flame Wheel. Oh, Curse works too. I'm fine with the curses being spread around. So not all the same Pokemon could have all the pain. And there's that. I'm gonna use Hopefully Blaze wakes up. Yes, and then we use Flame Wheel. Perfect. Then everyone gets some experience. Yeah, we're definitely gonna switch that out. We're gonna bring in Toga Cutie. Toga Cutie, who it is? Hopefully, yeah, Mr. Vis is coming because if one doesn't come, I'll be really sad. Gengar gave mean look, so we'll stay. That's fine. By the time I'm done, you'll be gone. We're actually going to use Yawn. Mm. Man. Hopefully, Toga Cutie wakes up the next round. I should have used Yawn first, but oh well. Ooh, I thought you were going to use Dream Eater. Ooh, yes, Yawn. That's how you do it. Love it. So now they'll fall asleep while Toga Cutie falls asleep. So now it'll be who wakes up first. That's the battle. Who wakes up first? Dinger's still asleep. Puppy's oh, cute. Nope, Toby Cute woke up. That's good. And there's extra sensory. Working in our favor. Ooh, yeah, one more time. One more time. Okay. Okay, could it not use a berry? Then Gengar finally wakes up, and then there it is using Hypnosis again, okay. Hopefully 
hopefully no one uses a hyper potion. Yep, keep on using sunk, uh, Sucker Punch, that's fine. And then we use Extra Sensory again. Ooh. And... Yes! Good job, Toga Cutie. Using... Oh man! A, over a thousand experience points, that's crazy. That's really crazy. Oh man, I thought it was going to like double level up. So yeah, we're going to switch it with... Oh, we can't use Blaze. We're just gonna keep to a cutie word. To a cutie is. Yep, we are going to be using Yawn again. <sighs> Could you not be using Yawn? Like, that's so annoying. Okay. We're definitely gonna go and then switch you out with Patty. What I'm going to do is have Patty decrease the accuracy, and then we're going to attack with force. So, oh, that works too. Bam. Accuracy fell. Got more discipline than anyone else. That's good. Okay. So now we're going to go to here. We're going to replace you or bring out Amelia. Hopefully, some like sucker punch deal happens and then bam. And then let's see. We're going to use a potion. Okay. Actually, we're gonna use a super potion on Blaze. And then bring Blaze out. Yep. That's the game plan. Okay. Now we're going to bring out Blaze. With. There we go. Um, like, Hunter had one job. It could have easily done Dream Eater and really done a big move, but... Nope, for some reason it didn't. And then now we're gonna use Flame Wheel to finish off Hunter. And bam! We're right there. Glad that everyone is safe within the team. No one fainted, no one is gone. Everyone's doing great. And I'm so glad Toby Cutie evolved. I'm sorry that I mentioned it again. Morty, how is it possible? Eh, with the power took a cutie. I don't think our potentials are so different. We seem to have something more than that. So be it. This badge is yours. Then I received the Falling Badge. I'm surprised he doesn't have a mystery of this. But oh well. By having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, I can't experience that, man. This is a lone wolf flaw. We'll obey you. Also, Pokemon will be able to use Surf. Well, that's good. Here's another thing. I want you to have this. Obtaining TM30. Hmm. Interesting. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Oh, I definitely will. So now I'm gonna try to fall out to go back to the front. And now we're running out. But that was a good battle. That was a really good battle. Glad no one died. It was pretty easy. Now I'm gonna heal up and I'm gonna head out. And right here seems like a good stopping point. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did like it, give it a like. If you like Pokemon content, please subscribe. And if you guys want to receive monthly fan art, please subscribe to my Patreon account. Link is in the description. Till then, see you soon.